Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you all are fine there. Students, do you love to work on the computer? Yes, each and every child nowadays is very keen to work on the computer. But for working, it is very essential that you should have the knowledge to make use of it. So our today's topic is related to Microsoft Word. In short, we say it as MS Word. Now, word processor is a type of software application used for composing, editing, formatting and printing documents. There are a number of different word processing applications such as WordPerfect, WordPad, OpenOffice Writer, but one of the most common that we are going to do today is word processor. Now, word processor we are just going to start with part 1. So, let us start with the slides. So, our first slide is formatting text using format painter. Now, this tool is used to copy the format of one text to the other. For example, if some text is written and formatted using a specific font type, color and font size to copy that formatting to another section of text, format painter is used. जब आपने कोई टेक्स्ट बनाया होता है और आपने उसी के ऊपर कोई और टेक्स्ट कॉपी कराना इन दैट केस यू मेक यूज ऑफ फॉर्मेट पेंटर नाउ टू यूज फॉर्मेट पेंटर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द टेक्स्ट दैट हैज अ फॉर्मेटिंग दैट यू वांट टू कॉपी सपोज कर लो आपने ये टेक्स्ट आपने बनाया हुआ इसी के ऊपर आपने दूसरा टेक्स्ट लगाना है देन ऑन द होम टैब यू हैव द फॉर्मेट पेंटर बटन you will drag this brush on the text to be formatted and then release the mouse button. Okay? We will just do this in MS Word also and we will see. So, this is your Word document. Word document with two paragraph type. Hai. Now, just click on format painter. Just see a sh keyboard shortcut you can make use of control shift or C. Now, you will just click on this format painter. Jab aap format painter pe click kar doge, you will get a brush type here, format painter ka brush mil gaya. Now, you can just select the paragraph and you can just paste it on the another one. Theek hai? You can paste it on another one. Theek hai? So, just see you have got the option, same paragraph you have got again. So, this is how you can make use of format paint. So, our next slide is applying shadow and reflection effects. Now, this is a special tool which is used to add shadow and reflection to the text. Agar aapne text ko koi shadow ya reflection deni hai, then you can make use of this applying shadow and reflection effect wala tool. Now, this tool it gives 3D look to the text. Ye text ko kaun si look deta hai? 3D look. So, 3D look se aapka text ka appearance jo hai, wo bohat beautiful lagta hai. We will just do this in MS Word also. So, let us see how to give reflef reflection effect in Word. So, first of all go in home tab. We are here in the home tab. After you go in home tab, just select the text effect from here in the font group. You have the text effect. Just select any style. First of all select the data. Let us say we have selected this data. Go in the text style. Select any style. Let us say I have selected this style. Agar ye pasand nahi hai, koi aur select kar lo. Similarly, go in the text effect again. Click on reflection. Give any type of reflection. Similarly, you can give any shadow also. Koi bhi kisi, ki tarah, kisi bhi tarah ki shadow aap de do. Just see here. Each and every word is having the reflection also. So, this is how you can give the text effect and reflection. Next slide is about how to apply superscript and subscript in MS Word. Now, what are this superscript and subscript? Now, superscript and subscript are the two special effects which are used to place the text slightly above or below the normal text line. Jab aapne text ko slightly above ya below the text line karna hota, then in that case you make use of superscript and subscript. ठीक है सबस्क्रिप्ट के लिए द कीबोर्ड शॉर्टकट इज कंट्रोल प्लस इक्वल साइन एंड सुपरस्क्रिप्ट के लिए कीबोर्ड शॉर्टकट इज कंट्रोल प्लस शिफ्ट एंड टू टाइम्स प्लस साइन ठीक है नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी सुपरस्क्रिप्ट सुपरस्क्रिप्ट इज अ टेक्स्ट दैट अपीयर्स अबव द नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट लाइन ठीक है जब नॉर्मली आप कोई वर्ड लिखते हैं और उसके ऊपर आपने कोई वर्ड 
done that then in that case you will make use of superscript text in case of science whenever you are writing the formula there that in that case you make use of superscript and subscript similarly subscript also the text that appears below the normal text line they are saying here for 6 12 6 okay so this is known as subscript we will just do this in ms word also now we will do just the superscript and subscript in ms word also let us see I have these two words H2O and CO2 okay now this 2 I will just select this 2 and I will click here on subscript okay subscript we have click kar diya. see here just below the line normal line ke below ke chala gaya. so this means this is superscript now let us see if I have selected this 2 and I am clicking here on superscript see here the normal 2 is changed to the just above the line ye chala gaya. so this is how you can make use of superscript and subscript in MS Word so next slide is applying header and footer now what are this header and footer now header and footer are the areas on the top and bottom margins of each page in a document you can insert text number or graphics in a header and footer to sub se upar up top margin par ya bottom margin par kuch likhna chahte ho then in that case you can apply header and footer header and footer mein aap text insert kar sakte ho numbers kar sakte ho graphics kar sakte ho Okay. We'll just Let's see in MS Word how to make use of header and footer. To insert header and footer, you have to go in insert tab. Insert tab may you have this header option. Click on this header option. Here you have some ready-made headers. Here you have some ready-made header. Hai. Let's say you want to select this one. Okay. Select karlo. Type your name. Type whatever the text you want type whatever the text you want to give in the heading let us say you want to give the name of your school sacred international school just make it this make this bold select curlo make it bold bring it in the center okay change the color now this header is inserted okay now when you will just go on the next page jab ab next page per bhi jaoge, you will be able to see the name of the school on each and every page so this is how you can make use of the header option similarly you can make use of the footer option also footer option ke liye bhi aapne insert tab mein jana hota okay go in insert tab click here on the footer option click here on any style type here let us say you want to give the page number 1 dal do okay class dal do class 5 dal do okay select this thing go in the home tab bring it in center select kar lo class 5 ko up side mein le jau okay So, this is how you have given the footer. Now, when you will go on the next page, see here automatically, jo aapne footer par option lagai thi, wo sari option aapke paas footer mein bhi hai. So, this is how you can just give the header and footer option. So, our next slide is how to apply drop cap effect. Now, a drop cap is a large capital letter at the beginning of a text block that has the height of the two or more lines of the regular text. Okay. When you have seen in newspaper mein bhi dekha hoga, ki first letter is a capital letter. So, how do we make use of that letter? To make, use, to make it effective, to make it look bigger, we make use of drop cap. Okay. Drop cap ka hum use karte hai. Or us say ye letter bada ho jata hai. We will just do this in MS Word and see how to make use of drop cap effect. So let us see in MS Word how to make use of drop cap. Now to make use of drop cap you have to go in insert tab. Insert tab mein you have your drop cap option. 
Now when you will click on this drop cap option what will happen? It will create a large capital letter at the beginning of the paragraph. Beginning of the paragraph may you have this A. So, this A will become broader. So, click here drop just see here the style is changed drop cap letter use karne se A is changed into capital letter. Okay? Bigger font may change ho gaya. So, this is how we make use of drop cap. So, next slide is how to apply column formatting. Now, column formatting to apply multiple columns on one page, we can apply col column formatting to text in MS Word. If you read newspaper or a magazine, you see that there are columns in it. Now, how do we make use of these columns? Okay? How do we make use of these columns? So, we will just do this in MS Word and see. So, let us see in MS Word how to make use of the column option. To make use of the column option, you have to go in page layout tab. First of all, you have to type a paragraph. So, after typing the paragraph, uh, just enlarge the font. Okay. Font style I enlarge kar diya. Go in page layout. After you go in page layout, you have your column option. Let us say you want in two parts, two columns may have data divide karna. Click here on two. See here work is divided into two parts. Okay. And so, view ruler dekh lo agar. Ruler pe agar click ke. Just see here the ruler line. The columns are divided into two parts. Agar or data hota to is side pe shift ho jana. Okay. Similarly, go in page layout and if you want three columns, again click on column option click on 3, see here the ruler line, the data is divided into 3 parts, okay? 3 parts may have data shift. Ho so, this is how you can create the columns. Okay? Next slide is how to apply a column break. Now, column break it indicates that the text following the column break will begin in the next column. Agar aapne column break use ki hai, so aapka jo text hai, wo next column mein apne aap shift ho jayega. We'll just do this in MS Word also. So let's see in MS Word how to make use of column break. To make use of column break, first of all go in page layout. Page layout mein you have this break option. Break option mein just select column option. Jab aap column option select karoge, it will indicate that the text following the column break will begin in the next column. Okay. So, this is how you can make use of column break. Okay. So, this was all about for the slides for part 1. So, we will just again meet in the second, uh, second part of this chapter. So, till that time stay safe, stay healthy and happy learning.